vehicle technologies and, and mobility is evolving and changing, uh, we will also have to discover how uh, the infrastructure will need to change. Uh, it's not just uh, the physical infrastructure that will evolve over time, will take decades to, uh, to change and to modify, but also the digital infrastructure that we will need, uh, uh, the data sharing, uh, the communication technologies along the roadside, all that will have to change as well. We also have to look beyond, uh, this is very important, to not only uh, make the best research projects in the world on uh, CCAM, on uh, cooperative connected automated mobility, but also uh, bring them to a longer life, let's say like this, uh, to integrate it into the standardization approaches of technologies, but also into the regulations of the future, so, so that the whole transport system, regulation system, will also be completely I would even say revolutionized. So CCAM is bringing together the stakeholders on public and private side together to push mobility for digitalization and for automation for the next level of European mobility. For me CCAM is the partnership for safety and efficiency on the road. CCAM is nothing without uh, the full enthusiasm of all sectoral players. For any member state, it would be impossible to uh, implement uh, the transport system of the future on their own. So uh, we would have to join forces and uh, build one system as we are already integrated as Europe. And this is the key, I think, that we really come together in one large group of all these different sectors from all these different countries. The goal is to, uh, uh, to join efforts and also to integrate the new technology into an existing vehicle system or an existing transport system. But uh, then uh, having really the needs of, of uh, our citizens in the heads and, and uh, going beyond, uh, let's say, these small boxes of city traffic and uh, highways, but bringing things together, this is, I think, the key. And yes, part of our job will be to, to make people experience uh, the services as soon as people get the experience, they will see how big the advantage is. For improving safety and efficiency, we have to find common agreements on validation of technologies on the manufacturer side, on the technology supplier side, and also on the side of, again, on the regulator side of the public side. Yeah. As we progress with uh, integrating all the technologies, uh, the real challenge will be, of course, then to prove them in real life, not just demonstrate them in a lab, but also in a real life situation. So in cities with dense traffic, where you can actually demonstrate what the technology is doing and what it is capable of, and people can experience how it can change and improve their lives, uh, then we can really see if those use cases, and we, we need to prove if the, the, that those use cases uh, actually contribute. We are not just implementing just some new technology, we are building the transport system of the future.